So today we are going to find the critical points of a function. So in order for us to find the critical points, three things must be kept in consideration. First of all, you have to find the domain of the function. Second of all, you have to derive the function. Thirdly, we have to take the function which we derived and make it equal to zero or check when the function is undefined. Now let us see how we can solve this here. So first of all, we will find the domain of this function here. Now the domain of this function, because it's a polynomial, the domain is r, which is from infinity to negative infinity. Now secondly, we will derive this function. Now we have here 4x cubed minus 3x. So we have the minus, we write the minus as it is. And then here we have the power rule. So take 3 multiplied by 4, which would give us 12. We will subtract from the 3, 1 to get x power 2 minus the derivative of 3x is 3. Now we will make this derived function equal to 0. And we will see also if this function can be undefined. Well, because this, there is no fraction here. So this cannot be undefined. So this function can only be equal to zero. So it means that to find the critical points, we'll just take this function and make it equal to zero. So let us solve this now here. Now to solve this, we'll start off by dividing by three all in the whole equation to simplify it. So we'll have here 4x squared minus 1 equals to 0. We'll take the 1, the other side, or we'll just add the 1 both sides. And we will have here 4x squared equals to 1. And we'll divide by 4 both sides. So we'll get x squared equals to half by taking square roots both sides. We will have here x equals to positive half and x equals to negative half. So these are the critical points. And because these points are inside the domain, it means that these we will take as the critical points. So for the question number two, we'll start off by finding the domain. Now because we have here square root, we will take the square root, what's inside the square root and make it greater than or equal to zero. It means that our domain will be x is greater than or equal to zero. This means that the domain will be from zero to infinity. Now to find the critical point, we will derive this function. Well, this function can also be written as 4 times x power half minus x squared. Now, to derive this, we will use the power rule. We'll take half and multiply it here, which will give us 2x. We'll subtract from the half 1, which will give us negative half. And then here we'll take the 2 and multiply it here, which will give us 2x. We'll subtract from the 2, 1, which will give us 1. And the minus sign, you'll write it as it is. Now this here is the derived function. So the derived function can be written as 2 divided by x power half minus 2x. Now in order for us to find the critical points, we must first make this fraction as 1. Now how can we make it as 1? We'll multiply this here and we'll multiply this here and then we'll multiply this here. 
So how can we do this? Let us see. Now 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. And then we have minus. And then we have here x power half multiplied by 2x. Now the x power half plus the x power 1 will give us x power 3 over 2. So we will have here 2 multiplied by x power 3 over 2. All of this is divided by x power half. So this here is our derived function. Now let's just make some space here so we can work. Now we got our domain as 0 to infinity. And this here is our derived function. Now in order for us to find the critical points, we know that we have to find where the derived function is equal to 0 and where the derived function is undefined. Now this derived function will be equal to 0 when we take the numerator and make it equal to 0. This means it will be equal to 0 because we know that 0 divided by anything is 0. So let us do that first. Now let us take 2 minus 2x power 3 over 2 equals to 0. So we start off by taking this to the other side. It will go with a different sign. So we will have here 2 equals to 2x power 3 over 2. We will divide by 2 both sides. We will have here x power 3 over 2 is equal to 1. Now we will take power 2 over 3 both sides to get rid of this 3 over 2 in the x. So we'll have x equals to 1 power 2 over 3. Now x will be equal to 1. So this is our first critical point. Now we will write it here x equals to 1. Now how can we find the other critical point? Now to find the other critical point, we have to make this function here undefined. Now in order for it to be undefined, we will take the denominator and make it equal to 0. Because we know that when you divide anything divided by 0, it will give you undefined. So now let us take the denominator which is x power half and make it equal to 0. Now when we solve this, by multiplying by 2 power 2 both sides, we will get x as 0. So it means that our other critical point is x equals to 0. And because these two are in the domain, then we will consider them as critical points. So to solve this question, we must first find the domain. Now because this is a fraction, we'll take the denominator and make it not equal to 0. We'll take this to the other side, so we'll have x is not equal to 1. It means the domain is everywhere except for 1. Now that we got our domain, we will derive this function here. Now this function can also be written as x minus 1 power negative 1. To derive this, we will use the power rule. We'll take negative 1 and multiply it here. So we'll have here negative 1, x minus 1. We'll subtract from the 1, 1, which would give us negative 2. Now this can also be written as negative 1 divided by x minus 1 squared. Now in order for us to find the critical points, two things must be kept in consideration. We have to make the function which is derived 
equal to zero and we have to see where the function is undefined. Now because this is a fraction here and we have no x in the numerator so it means that this cannot be equal to zero. So we will just find the critical points by making this function here undefined because we have an x here in the denominator. Now to make this undefined, we'll take what's in the denominator and make it equal to zero. Now to solve this, we'll take square root both sides. So we'd have here x minus one equals to zero. We'll subtract by, we'll add by one both sides. So we'll have here x equals to one. Now this is what we got as the critical point. But this cannot be the critical point because it is not in the domain. So therefore we have no critical point. Now for this question to find the critical points, we'll first find the domain. Now to find the domain of ln, we'll take what's inside the ln function and make it greater than zero. So we have what's inside here, x minus two, we'll make it greater than zero. So x will be greater than two. It means that our domain will be from two to infinity, but two is not included. Now step number two, to find the critical points, we will derive the function. Now to derive this function here, well, we know that ln x is equal to one over x. Now ln x minus two will be equal to one over x minus two, and then we'll derive this to get one also. Now we have to see where the derivative function is zero and where the derived function is undefined. Now we can see here that we have no x in the numerator. So it means that the derivative function cannot be equal to zero. But we have an x in the denominator, so it means that the derivative function can be undefined. Now to make this undefined, you'll take what's in the denominator and make it equal to zero. So by adding by two both sides, we will have here x equals to two. Now this is what we got. But this here is not in the domain, not in the domain. So it means that there are no critical points. And for question number five, to find the critical points, we first find the domain. And to find the domain, because this is the square root, we'll take what's inside the square root, which is 4 minus x squared, and make it greater than or equal to 0. So it means that 4 will be greater than or equal to x squared. Now x will be less than or equal to 2, and x will be less than or equal to negative 2. So our domain will be from 2, negative 2 to 2. Now step two, we have to derive the function here. And to derive the function, how can we do that? Well, we have here, square root of four minus x squared is the same as writing four minus x squared power half. To solve this, we'll take the half and multiply it by the coefficient. So we'll have here half four minus x squared and then we subtract from the coefficient one, which we will get here, negative half. 
then they will derive what's in here and multiply it outside. So the derivative of 4 minus x squared is negative 2x. So we'll multiply here by negative 2x. So the 2 and the 2 will cancel out. And finally, we will have negative x divided by 4 minus x squared power half as the derivative. Now what do we know? We know that to find the critical points, we have to see where the function or the derived function is equal to zero and where the derived function is undefined. Now this function will be equal to zero if the numerator is equal to zero. So we will take negative x equals to zero. Say x will be equal to zero. This is the first critical point. And because it lies inside the domain, so this is correct. Now when is the function undefined? The function is undefined when the denominator is equal to zero. So we'll take the denominator, which is 4 minus x squared power half, and make it equal to zero. To solve this, we will multiply squared both sides. So we'll have here 4 minus x squared equals to 0. We'll take x squared to the other side. So we'll have 4 equals to x squared. So x will be equal to positive 2 and negative 2. So these are other critical points. So we'll have x equals to negative 2 and x equals to positive 2. And because these are inside the domain, well, these are critical points also. Now, in order for us to find the critical points, we'll start off by finding the domain. Now, to find the domain, we will take, because we have the fraction here, so we'll take what's in the fraction and make it not equal to 0. So, it means that x will be not equal to 0. So our domain will be everywhere except for 0. Now after finding the domain, we will derive this function. Now we have here x power plus 1 over x is the same as writing x power negative 1. So plus x power negative 1. Now to derive this, we know that here we have plus, so we write the plus as it is. And then the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of this here, we'll take the negative 1 and multiply it here to get a negative x. Power will subtract from the power 1, which will give us power negative 2. So to rewrite this, we'll have 1 plus negative 1 divided by x squared. Because we know x power negative 2 is the same as writing 1 over x squared. Now, in order for us to find the critical points, we must first make this fraction as 1. Now, to make it as 1, we'll do cross multiplication, and then we'll multiply this here also. So, we will have here x squared minus 1 divided by x squared. Now, to find the critical points, we have to see where the derived function is equal to 0, and where the derived function is undefined. Now the derived function will be equal to 0 when the numerator is equal to 0. So we'll take x squared minus 1 is equal to 0, so x squared will be equal to 1, so x will be equal to 1. This is the first point. Now the function will be undefined when the denominator is equal to 0. So we'll take x squared is equal to 0, so x will be equal to 0. Now, because 0 is not inside the domain, we will not consider it as a critical point. And we'll take x equals to 1 as the critical point.